place with a photo and stuff like this. So let's see where we are grabbing the uh, bookings. Let's see what the data we have. We have one booking with check in, check out, uh, price, place, but the price, but for the place, we only get the ID. There's a nice feature called populate function for uh, Mongoose. So let's go back to um, index.js. And for this booking, let's open this one. We um, define this place as object ID, but we didn't add a reference. And so let's put reference will be actually a place. So reference is actually the, the name of the object, the name of the model that we want to reference to. Uh, so for us, it will be just place. And it will try to grab this ID and try to find um, on the places model, the place with this ID. So let's go to index.js. And now we can do something like this. We try to find bookings for this user, but let's add a dot here and let's add a populate. And here we can do just add place. And now if I refresh here, let's see, uh, bookings, we have this booking and the place is still an ID. Let's uh, quickly go back here. Let's see, uh, not require place. It should be, sorry, reference place. Now, if I refresh, let's go back to bookings, one booking and place is not longer an ID. Place is an object and it's a full object of this place. So now we have some more uh, information that we can uh, use. Um, so let's go back to bookings page. And now let's see. So for each place we are now, uh, for each booking, we are now displaying the check-in and check-out time. But first I want to display a photo. So uh, let's do, um, let's display a photo. But we are doing this so many times that we are checking if there's any photo and stuff like this. And so maybe um, we can do now this one time and we can put it as a separate component so it will be easier to reuse. Um, so let's maybe go to my places or just places page. And uh, we had this code summary here. We are checking if there are any photos and then we are displaying this uh, photo. So let's grab this one and uh, let's put it as a separate component. So let's do here source, new file, and let's do place emg.jsx. And here let's do export default function uh, place image. And uh, we will need a place here as a property, but here we'll just uh, do return. And uh, this, we could actually do that if we don't have any photos, I will remove it for now. If um, place photos, um, let's do question mark length. If there is zero, let's do just question mark. Then we will just return empty string. But here we will do just this image part because we know uh, there is an image, right? And then we can have another property of index. So we can add it here and make it default to zero. Let's add it here, index. Yes, we can add also a class name. So let's do a class name. And uh, let's say that default will be null. But here we will check if class name, uh, if no class name, then we will do class name to be actually object cover like this. And here we can do just class name to be class name, right? So now we can reuse it back to places uh, page. So here we can do uh, place image and we need to um, pass the place and that's it. Now we can reuse it back inside our currently visible bookings page. Let's put maybe inside under div and let's put place EMG and place to be just place like this. And uh, we don't have any place variable because it sits 
inside this booking.place. And now we have it here. So now we can make it uh, smaller. So let's add class names on this div above and let's make it width of uh, 48. Yeah, something like this. And this one div for this booking, let's make it uh, flex. Yes, and uh, let's add a gap of four. And let's add the uh, uh, background of light gray. So let's do gray 